Now, listen, you guys, it seems like it is good news after good news when it comes to Nicki Minaj because, listen, it is being rumored that I Spice and Nicki Minaj might actually be performing for the New York Fashion Week. And at the same time, Lil' Kim graced the cover of Ebony and it seems like Festune had some words for her. Meanwhile, well, Koi and uh, Lato are still going strong at it, you guys, and uh, Koi Lire is out there looking for Lottery's uh, mother's picture. And uh, Gloria is out there uh, biting off Nicki Minaj as well. We're going to talk about that. Iggy Azalea has got a, a remix coming for Money Come. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well, and I trust you're doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. Um, now, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's tea. So, first of all, we're going to talk about Nicki Minaj and I Spice. Now, you guys, lately, you have been seeing I you have been saying, oh my god, Ice Spice is moving shady and things like that. But now, um, now that Nicki Minaj has been confirmed to actually come to the VMAs, um, there are speculations that she might actually bring out Ice Spice and they may perform uh, Princess Diana and Bobby Wall together. And uh, at the same time, you guys, now the streets are saying that the two of them might actually be performing for New York Fashion Week as well. And I'm just like, well, 2023, this is exactly how you own a year, okay? From basically that deal uh, with COD coming out, you're hosting the VMAs by yourself um, from there and actually moving on to performing at New York Fashion Week. This is winning in capital letters, okay? So if that is indeed true, congratulations to Nicki Minaj for that. And uh, moving on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about. Yesterday, I did a video about uh, Karen and... Um, I'm sorry, not Karen, lottery ticket. <laughs> Lottery ticket, uh, as Ashley would say, and of course, Koi Lire, um seem like they have a beef going on. Now, whether this beef is real or if they're just acting to get a little bit of attention, well, they know best, okay? But basically, the history between the two of them, just for those of you who do not know how all this started, uh, so basically, Lottery name dropped Koi, basically insinuating that she has a blonde as big as, uh, you know, Koi Lire, and uh, seeing how... Um, can I say small? Um, that <laughs> I don't know if it's it's if it's polite for me to say that she's small, but she's petite. Yeah, I think petite is the word is the polite word because listen, we may joke about everything else, but like we're not gonna play about somebody's natural body like. We, we just don't do that. So, seeing that Quayle Ray is petite in a way, uh, of course, that did not sit well with, um, you know, Quayle Ray because she was like, okay, how can you be saying that bland as big as my body? Are you saying that the bland is tiny? What exactly are you saying? And, uh, of course, Lotto came out and basically said that, oh, my God, I am, um, you know, I, I didn't mean any harm and things like that, but still, I found that corny. And, um, yeah, Koi did act like they were cool for a minute. And then, Koi was actually out there promoting, um, you know, her EP with a song that was basically name dropping a lottery ticket. So I guess that then rekindled the beef. But uh, lottery has decided to take it to another level because now she is coming for uh, Koi Lire's father, Benzino. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, she's literally coming for his name, his neck, like literally his neck. You know, I'm not even, not literally isn't. No, she's coming for Benzino Snake. <laughs> and so that seems to be an issue with Koi as it should. Because, I mean, listen, we can play around all day and we can diss each other. But, like, don't be bringing my parents in there. And I did see some people saying, oh, my God, it's not like Koi even likes her dead and things like that. And I'm like, listen, I can cuss out my family however I want to. But that does not give you any right to disrespect them just because of an issue you have with me. Do you understand what I'm saying? And uh, lottery ticket at this point, if this beef is not staged, I'm just looking at her like, is everything okay at home? Like, what's happening, okay? How's, you know, 21 Savage doing? Like, is he treating you good? Because, listen, this is mad crazy in my own opinion, okay? If this is not staged, it's wild. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just basically coming for somebody's father because you guys have issues. And she even said in, an, in a live uh, video because people were like, well, technically, Benzino does not have a neck, so what are you trying to say? It's not making sense. And she sat down and tried to explain it, which I still find corny. But it seems like Quayle Ray is not having it because she was on Twitter and uh, she basically said, can anyone give me a pic of Karen? 
and by current she basically means lottery smarter because you do know that uh, she is um you know yt so obviously um yeah that that uh, seems like a beef that's brewing but uh, i don't know if koi is actually going to come in hard for lato because lyrically speaking in as much as i do lato is annoying like her personality is annoying but lyrically speaking um yeah quail ray wouldn't stand a chance with lato in my own opinion but um i saw a lot of people defending lato and i'm just like are you who raised you like you you can all say it's rap and stuff like that but no man you just have to know your boundaries do you understand what i'm saying like it seems like it's lottery's habit to basically come for people's families now, if lo if um Koyli Ray comes hard on your mother, I don't want to hear you crying. I don't want to hear any of you saying anything because it's just so wild. Can't you guys just sort out your issues by yourself without parents being involved? Oh, my God. Do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that. Um, I do you care for this beef? Personally, I care for it in, in as far as the drama is concerned. I'm not emotionally invested in any of those two women. So, yeah, they can go at it, you guys, so we can have a good show. Okay? <laughs> The next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, um, Lil' Kim and um, Ebony cover. So she basically graced the cover of Ebony, and um, it seems like first tune had some words for her. And I'm just going to insert the picture, you guys. Shout out to Got The Scoop, um, you know, for the receipts. And I'm just like, what are you doing, face tune? Like, she's not the first celebrity to use face tune, so, so why are you being this messy? I will say that the usage was a little bit too much but she's not the only per celebrity who you who uses face tune so don't be messy uh face tune okay <laughs> the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about you guys um glorilla is out there basically biting off Nicki Minaj's lines again and uh, i know that in three hours time or in two business days she's gonna come out and say that oh my god i was hacked she was out there saying that well i don't remember conceiving uh but uh you know these girls are my sons or stuff like that but i'm just like glorilla nobody's trying to be your son i don't think anybody's trying to sound like you first of all two uh you've clearly made it clear that you have chosen um you know partisan fontaine's um you know alter ego um you know as your inspiration so does she not have any lines do you understand you do know who i mean by person uh fontaine's female alter, alter ego i'm hoping yeah i basically mean the transformer so i'm just like does the transformer not have an iconic lines or something like you know she says what shark my pushy <laughs> that's the int those are the intellectual lines that she has so <laughs> Can you not take something from there, okay? S something from the pole or something, you know, a an iconic line from the pole or something. Or I just bought my shoes and <laughs> I just fixed my teeth and I then cheap. <laughs> such a such an iconic great line. Why can you not take that glory like, and leave Nicki Minaj out of your life? The next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, Iggy Azalea and Money Come, okay? So she just announced that she has a Money Come remix on it. And, of course, people are like, who's going to be there? Is Nicki Minaj going to be there? Who is, who, like, you know, which girl is going to be there? I know it's not the Transformer because she said that she was not going to be doing any collaboration. So I don't think it is the Transformer. And But then again, it's her, you guys. She contradicts herself like countless times i mean she came out and said she's not going to do re collaborations and she came out with the collaboration so maybe it's the transformer you guys i don't know hop into the comment section and uh, let me know who do you think is going to be on iggy azalea's remix or who would you want to see on that remix thank you very much you guys for watching and thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't already what are you waiting for Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. Until my next one, see you.